guys, so in today's video, it is going to be my Sephora haul. So in my January favorites video, I mentioned that I got some new products from Sephora and then that I also made some repurchases as well. And a ton of you guys said that you wanted to see this video, so I am bringing the Sephora haul to you guys. But before we get into the Sephora haul, if you are brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Feel free to subscribe right here. Or if you're on mobile device, scroll down a little bit. There'll be a little red subscribe button. You just click it and that way you get notified for future videos. And now let's just go ahead and get into this Sephora haul. All right, so the first product is actually a repurchase, and this is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. So you guys, if you've been on my channel for a long time, you probably have heard me talk about this a ton. I've repurchased this thing probably maybe five or six times now, and it's amazing. It seriously is my holy grail eyeliner. I struggle with that wing eyeliner. I just can't get it perfect, and this helps me get it nearly perfect. And all it is is just an eyeliner pen right here and it's in the color black, but what's awesome about it is that it has a great tip on it. So the tip is very forgiving, so it allows you to create like just look at that. It allows you to create the thinnest and most precise line ever. I love it and it makes it so easy for me to create my wing because I seriously struggle with that wing. I mean struggle. So, and also as you guys can tell, it is super black, it's amazing. I love it, so of course I keep repurchasing it. All right, so the next product is a product I've never tried out, and this is the Kevin Aquan The Matte Lip Color. And it is in the shade Enduring. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, this is gorgeous. So this is what the packaging looks like, very sleek, very pretty. And then you open it up, that's what it looks like. Such a pretty shade, oh, it's like the perfect nude. So again, as you guys can tell, I love those pinky nudes. I think they are so pretty, I'm obsessed, and honestly, you can never have too many nudes. All right, so the next item is another repurchase, and this is the Hourglass Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation. So I have the shade Shell, and I use Shell if I'm a little bit fairer, but if I have a little bit of a tan, I go to natural. And I've actually repurchased this foundation probably about four times now. And I truly am now getting kind of like a love-hate relationship with it. This foundation worked perfectly for me back like a couple of years ago when I first started wearing it because I had way more oily skin. But now I have a very oily T-zone, but the outer corners of my face have dry patches. So this foundation clings to those dry patches so bad. So I do not recommend this foundation if you are dry skin or combination. It's just not the best, but if you are extremely oily, this is going to be your best friend. I love it because it really controls my oils in my T-zone and when I was working full time for nine hours a day and I couldn't really go and blot my face throughout the day because I couldn't leave the classroom, this was a lifesaver for me because if I was wearing my other foundation, Too Faced Born This Way, I was getting so oily and it was starting to clog up my pores and causing me to break out because I was producing so much oil. I love my Born This Way foundation if I'm just wearing it maybe for four or five hours, but if I have to wear it for nine hours or more, it just starts clogging up pores on me. So that's why I absolutely love this. This really helps control the oils on my skin. I just don't like the way that it always looks on my skin because sometimes my skin can be way too dry and it just doesn't look that great. But I love it because it really controls my oils and I don't have to worry about blotting throughout the day. So it gives me one less thing to worry about. But yeah, like I was saying, if you have dry skin, stay away. And if you have oily skin, go get this. You will love this. All right, so my next product is a brand new product that I've never tried and I've been dying to try out. And that is the Givenchy Powder Premier in Universal Nude. So I saw Casey Holmes talking about this and she was like saying she liked it better than Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And we all know that I am a die hard lover of Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I've been using it for years, like way before it was even talked on YouTube. And so when she said that she liked this one better, I was like, okay, you know what? I need to try it out for myself. So I have actually been using it right now. So first off, this is what the packaging looks like. It's a very nice box form, really sleek, love it. You open it up and then you get a puff inside. And let me just move it up. So as you guys can tell right here, it is more of a, a white powder. The Laura Mercier powder has more of a cream tint to it and this one is more of a white. 
So after using both powders, I have to say that the one kind of con that I've noticed with Laura Mercier is if you have very dry skin, you can't set your whole face with it because it can get too drying on the skin. I'm noticing that more as I'm getting older. But with this one, I've noticed that this one is a lot more finer and it doesn't get super drying on the skin, which is awesome. But I have to say that when I wear my Laura Mercier one, I can go longer without blotting my face than I can with this one. This one, I can't go very long with. It doesn't really soak up the oils as well. So with this being $54 and my Laura Mercier one being like $37, I probably prefer my Laura Mercier one, especially with that oily T-zone that I do have. So for me, I can already say that I'm gonna stick with Laura Mercier over this one. All right, so next up I purchased another Givenchy product and I've been using this for a little bit and this is the Givenchy Mr. Gentle Balm. All right, let me tell you about this thing. First off, I'll kind of show you what it looks like. It is just this little pot right here. Very cute little packaging, really nice. And then you open it up and you have your lip balm inside. So, as you guys can see, this thing is tiny. This thing is $31 for this tiny little pot. When I got this in the mail, I was just like, did I really pay $31 for this? I mean, I should have looked at the size of it and been like, oh my God, this is gonna be tiny. I was expecting this thing to be a lot bigger. So it's really nice on the lips and it's very moisturizing for a long time. Like it lasts on there for a really long time, which is awesome. So I definitely love the product of it. But the size of the product for 31 bucks is ridiculous. So I probably won't be repurchasing this. I wish they made it a bigger size for the money. All right, so the next product is another repurchase and this is the Cover of X Blotting Powder in shade Light. So I've actually been using this product for many, many years now. I've been using it, God, I think maybe since like 2013 or so. But I left it for a short time because Laura Mercier came out with that little travel size, like translucent setting powder. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna carry that around with me and blot my face with that because I love that powder so much. But I really miss this one because one, it came with a mirror. So I have a mirror in here to check my face to see how much oil I have on it. And then it has a really nice pressed powder inside. So this powder actually doesn't really add much color to my skin, which is awesome. It almost feels like a translucent setting powder for me, but I love it because it really helps soak up those oils and it really just blots the face nicely. I have to say this is one of my favorite blotting powders and I definitely recommend this powder if you guys have oily skin and you just need to blot throughout the day. It's so easy and it's so nice. It doesn't cake up on the skin. It doesn't add any extra color. I think it's perfect. All right, so my next product is actually a recommendation from you guys. You guys told me in my Laura Mercier Candle Glow review to go get the Cover FX Drops because that foundation is so light on the skin. I needed something with a little bit more coverage. So I went ahead and took your guys' recommendation and purchased the Cover FX Drops. I don't know why I didn't purchase them sooner, but I have yet to try these out. This shade that I got is N20, and I think this is gonna match me perfectly. So this is what it looks like. It's just a serum packaging, really nice. And then you just open it up and it has a dropper and you can just drop the color and mix it in with your foundation to have more coverage. So I will definitely let you guys know what I think of these. I can't wait to try them out and see how much coverage I can get with these drops. All right, so next up is another new product that I haven't tried yet. And this is the Smashbox Lipstick in Audition. So when I went to Gen Beauty this weekend, I went to the Smashbox booth and I was just watching the lipsticks just for fun because I wanted to kind of try out their lipsticks. And they had a bunch of colors out there and I swear you guys, they had multiples of a few. And when I kept swatching the color, I was like, ooh, I like this color and it was Audition. I went and swatched another color and then I looked at the bottom of it audition and then I did it a third time so I was like okay this is a sign that I need to go purchase this lipstick so I went and purchased it and I'm so excited you guys it is gorgeous so gorgeous and the lady at the counter actually said that they've been sold out of this lipstick for a really long time because it's such a popular color so she's like you're really lucky that you got this I'm like yeah I am I'm so excited it is so pretty it's a really gorgeous mauve shade this is definitely one of my favorite shades to wear. And it has a really nice sheen finish to it and it looks really moisturizing as well. All right, so the next product is another new product and I believe this one just came out and this is the YSL Touche Eclat Neutralizer. I probably totally butchered that name, but 
let's ignore it. And I got it in the shade Vert Green. So they came out with three of these. They have a purple one, a salmon color one, and a green one. So obviously the green one is to neutralize and cancel out that redness. And you guys know, I have very red and uneven skin tone. So I was like, you know what? Let's give this a try. So this is what it looks like right here. Really gorgeous packaging. YSL always has the best packaging and I'm just so excited. So all you have to do is just hit the button on the bottom and then the product will come out. I don't want it to come out yet because I don't want to waste anything until I use it. So I will definitely have to let you guys know what I think of this and how well it covers up my redness. All right, the next product that I got, I got the Smashbox Always Sharp Lip Liner. So you guys know I totally love their eyeliners. They're amazing. And so I wanted to get one of their lip liners because again, at Gen Beauty, I was swatching the lip liners and I think I even snapped about them about how much I love this color. So I went and purchased it and oh my God, you guys, it's so gorgeous. So the packaging is exactly the same as the eyeliners, but oh, this color. This color is so pretty. It's a gorgeous pinky nude. Honestly, you can never have too many nude lip liners, I swear. And then also, when I got those eyeliners, I had a few people comment saying like when they break, they're done, you can't use them anymore. I thought that too, but it's not true. All you have to do is twist the opposite direction and it's gonna move it up and sharpen it. So say if it gets dull and goes away or if it breaks or something, move it the opposite direction of the arrow and then boom, you'll have like a whole new eyeliner, which is awesome. So I actually really love these. They're super creamy and super pigmented and I'm excited for the color. All right, so next up I have the Clinique Pop Lacquer. So I believe these are relatively new right now. I think they just recently came out. And you guys know I'm obsessed with the Clinique Lip Pops, the lipsticks, like they're my favorite lipsticks. So when I saw that they came out in a gloss, I was like, I gotta try this. So I went ahead and picked up the shade 10 Sugar Pop. So these don't have the best review and I actually know why because I've been wearing them a little bit. They're really kind of sticky to be honest, but I love the shade of this. It's a really pretty shade. So the shade is a gorgeous kind of pinky nude right there. But I have to say, if you don't like those really sticky lip glosses, you're not gonna like this. This is actually pretty sticky. So I think that's why they're not getting the best reviews on them. It's super nice to throw on the list, but it is pretty sticky. All right, so next up I have two more products from Clinique and these are the new Lid Pops. So I believe these just came out and the first shade that I got is called 05 Willow Pop and the shade is gorgeous. I haven't used them yet, so I'll have to let you guys know what I think of them, but just check them out. They are designed just like the cheek pops that they have, which another product that I love, but these are a little bit more of a smaller pot. So this shade Willow Pop is gorgeous. It's a really pretty gold shade, but it looks like it has some brown and some green tones in it. Just check out that shade. Oh, so gorgeous. It goes on so smoothly and it's so pigmented too. So I'm really, really excited to use this. All right, so the next shade that I got is in 02 Cream Pop. So this is another gorgeous shade. I love these two shades out of the collection that they came out with. So this is what it looks like up close. Super, super pretty, gorgeous. I'm gonna swatch it. So this is a really pretty kind of a beige cream shape. It is very light, but as you can see, when it catches the light, it is just so gorgeous. I can't wait to create a makeup look with this because I think it's perfect for those natural days and even for those summer days when you just want a really glowy, bronzy look, I think this would be a gorgeous shade to put on your lid to just bring some life and some glow to it. Oh, I'm excited. All right, so the next product that I got is, I think it just recently came out and this is the Lancome Taint Adole Ultra Makeup Stick. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I believe they have this in liquid form and they just made it into a stick form. So I was like, oh, you know what? I really want to try this out. So I'm going to do a first impressions on this. I was sitting in the store and I was trying to swatch out colors and I was having a really hard time finding a shade for me. So I don't know how well this is going to work out for my skin, but the shade that I got is 140 Ivory N. So this is what the packaging looks like. It is a stick foundation. Very nice, very sleek. 
you open it up and then that's what it looks like. It doesn't look like you get that much product to be honest. It looks really small, but I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you guys. It literally just melts on the skin. It's super nice. So yeah, this shade might work. It might be a little pinky. I don't know. We'll have to see it on my face to kind of see how it blends in, but it's like super soft. It feels almost like a satin finish to it really nice and smooth. So I am really excited to try this out and I will definitely be doing a first impressions on it. All right, so next up is a new product that I haven't seen out yet and I saw this in the checkout line. I was like, I gotta try this. So this is the Glam Glow Plump Rages Gloss Lip Treatment. So it's extreme, extreme. So it's full plump enhance, all that fun stuff. So I guess it is a lip plumpers so yeah this is what the packaging looks like i love the bright pink packaging so cute let's open it up and when you open it up it's just a kind of silver packaging and then let's see how this is does it twist whoa how do you open this how do you open this oh my god wait you twist it and this thingy comes up what the hell Oh my God, this is like the most unique packaging ever. Oh my goodness, okay. All right, so that's what it looks like. It looks like it's almost like a bullet. Hmm, interesting. So yeah, when you twist it, it goes down like that and then you twist it and it goes up and you pull it out. Huh, very interesting. All right, so I'm definitely gonna have to let you guys know what I think about this, if it really plumps my lips or how it feels on the lips. We'll see. Crossing fingers that I don't have crazy lips after this. Yeah. All right, so that is everything that I got from Sephora. I got a lot of repurchases like I showed you and a lot of new purchases as well. So I will definitely let you guys know what I think about some of these new purchases that I got in future videos and also in my first impressions for that new Lancome stick foundation. We'll see if I like that. Hopefully it is the correct shade. But if you guys enjoyed the Sephora haul, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future videos and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.